Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Wine Review. I'm Ryan, the Wine Guy. This is Buddies, as you all know. Uh, just go back a few episodes, and you'll see what their names are. But uh, I guess, I guess, just I guess, just this one time again. Uh, and every once in a while, I'll reintroduce them. Hearts, Big Boy Bear. Yes, his name is Bear, and he's a bear. Marshmallow, Jolly, Zebes, and of course this guy is hiding. Hearts, or no, uh, Hoods. God, I already, I already mentioned Hearts. Um, Hoods, because he's wearing a hood, and then this is hard because he has hearts. And... Marshmallow, I don't know why. I mean, that that was just the name it said it was when I when I got him. So, anyway, uh, today's wine is going to be Cruz Alta Cruz Alta Reserve, 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. Price-wise, you know, I, I took a picture of this on my Vivino app, and it says people have paid up to 65 bucks, which is not true. I think they took a picture of something that looks similar to this, and it is 65 maybe by Cruz Alta, but it might be a different type, because this is 20 bucks or less. In fact, I paid... 10 bucks for it, but that's because I got it on wholesale price. Regular price, I think, would have been 17 bucks. So 17 and 20 dollars for this. Um, maybe a little higher depending on where you live, but you definitely will not pay 65 for this. But again, this is what it looks like. Cruz Alta Reserve, 100% Cabernet Sauvignon from Mendoza, Argentina, 2014. There are 13 out there, and there might be a 15. It says aging, spelled A-G-E-I-N-G, -E which somebody in a Vivino also wrote. Oh, somebody can't spell aging correctly. It's a regional spelling, everyone. A-G-E-I-N-G -E is aging. Okay? It might not be how we in America spell it, but it's a regional spelling, so it's spelled correctly. Okay? Calm your shit. 10 months and 50% new barrels, 100% French oak. Winemaker's note. Deep ruby red color. Complex aromas with cassis. Mature red fruit and coffee from the oak. Rich and long lasting on the palate. Its tannic texture provides a smooth and pleasant finish and on the back this is a little bit about it too sourced from our high altitude vineyards in Mendoza the most well-known wine region in Argentina this wine reflects the outstanding natural soil and climate conditions produced and bottled by Cruz Alta imported by Serenity Imports they are a popular brand. Some, some, some popular import brands are, of course, uh, Serenity. Um, uh, two, two uh, you know, I, I, I forget the other one. Um, Mansour Tutan. That's another popular one that does stuff. Um, so. These two are, are the big ones, um, Mansour, Touton, and Serenity. Um, of course, I always like saying who imported it, just so you all know. Um, but now let's get to sort of the, sort of what's going on. It is very deep, dark in color, really can't see through it, so really deep purple, a little opaque with just a little bit of rubiness going on uh, at the very 
uh, end here, sort of, and you tilt it, you do get a good sense of red in there. Definitely get a big smoky kick on the nose, a little bit of spice. A little bit of chocolate and maybe light espresso, like a coffee. Definitely dark cherries going on. I actually didn't tell you, 14% um, alcohol. Hmm. Definitely get that chocolate, that spice, like a smokiness, a little bit of leather, a little bit of other dark berries, like a little bit of blackberry, maybe plum. Maybe like a dark, like a dark cherries as I mentioned. But it's not a like like there's no like harsh over abundance of smell. Um, sort of like a nice, really good nose nothing that's like pal but nothing that's too weak in general too just sort of like these notes you can really slightly pick up Got my petite sour's glass again. Um, you know, this is actually not bad. Not bad at all. Really smooth, um, actually. Definitely get that coffee in there. Slight little bit of chocolate. Mild spicy notes, but nothing too bad. Tannins are really well structured in there. No harsh tannins. Perfect with the acidity. There's nothing, it's not highly too acidic, but there's also, it's just slightly a bit acidic to sort of just give you a little bit of mouth-wateringness, but still nice and um, dry in there. Very smooth. Good good finish the only thing um i would feel i would deduct for this is the fact that it's it's not i, I would not say this is a bold wine this is fairly easy drinking which is not bad i don't mind easy drinking wines but i also prefer my wines to have a distinctive hardcore taste. This definitely does have lingering notes of a little bit of coffee, a little bit of espresso, or uh, coffee espresso, a little bit of chocolate. Um, but there's really no like big fruity notes. There's a slight spicy note, but I mean no nothing, nothing is, it's not a pal wine. Um, let's just say that. The flavors are there. But I feel they're a little on the mild side for me. Not saying that that's bad. I'm still going to give this a 4 out of 5. 4 to 5 is still a great wine. Still a wine I recommend you drink. As I said, there's just a slight little bit of oomph that I wish this had a little bit more of. I wish this had a little bit more flavor. A little bit more structured flavor and not so mild but still I'm still tasting it it's still good I'm still getting those little bits of notes of what I got 
just not so much a fruit. But as far as the fruit goes, as I mentioned, a little bit of that dark cherry, um, plum, uh, hints of blackberry. Um, but that almost all diminishes quickly, and what you're really left with is this sort of uh, chocolatey, uh, coffee taste. Not that this is sweet. This is not a sweet wine. There really is no sweet tones to this. Um, I just, as I said, wish there was a little bit more, a little bit more structure, a little bit more um, big flavor on this. But it's still really good. In fact, there was another bottle I opened earlier. I think I just saw my stepdad like this. So if you're still watching, there's a whole bottle for you that I put in the refrigerator um, that's waiting for you for tomorrow because I didn't like it at all. So, yeah, I was going to do another another review earlier, but <laughs> I couldn't even get through the I couldn't even get through a whole glass. It was that bad. Or I don't know if it was that bad. I just didn't like it. I just thought it was a little bit too fruitier and sweet. So I'm not I'm not going to do a review on a one star wine if I can't even get through it to even review it. But this I said is four out of five. 2014 uh, Cruz Alta Reserva Cabernet Sauvignon. Maybe we can go a little bit more. So that could uh, that could be a little bit why also it's uh, a four out of five, not four and a half or even a five, but. You know, it's uh, still pretty good. Oh, well. Uh, I'm rambling on, so I might as well finish this up. I better get to bed soon because I do got to get up slightly early because uh, I got work tomorrow. But anyway, happy Saturday to everyone um, or whatever day it is you are uh, watching. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.